So the word defibrillator for today, where we are trusting God for a word from within the word. Proverbs 8, 17. I love those who love me and those who seek me early and diligently shall find me. It is the best game to play on planet Earth. Yeah, hiding, go seek. There's a few times in Scripture where God says, uh, if you seek me, you shall find me. Now, hiding, go seek, if you need to know, that's where one person goes and stands in a corner, counts to 50, while everybody else goes and hides. And then you go and diligently seek them. You go look for them, are wanting to find them. Now, if you look really, really well, you are going to find them. Now, when I was uh, running the youth at a church, the most amazing thing is we used to play this on Friday nights. And we had the biggest youth group in the area. And I got a little bit nervous because I'm one guy and it was over 100 kids. And what's going on? Why are they coming? And guys were coming to play hide and go seek before they actually went to the local disco. Yeah. Or local rave, if you want to call it that. And they would kind of hide their alcohol in the bushes and then they'd play hide and go seek for a while and then they'd go on to their party. And, it's, and, and they were, some of them would say to me, Sean, please don't tell anybody I was here. And we couldn't figure that out, so I went and I got some friends to come and help. And it was a facility that you could hide if you wanted to, and you'd really have to go and find them. And uh, couldn't figure it out. Then this friend of mine that came and helped me, he was playing golf with a friend. A psychologist and um, he said to the guy look can I just ask you a question and the guy's like what he said well you know we're playing hiding go seek every Friday night with the youth and more and more kids are pitching up and we just can't figure it out why would these kids come and play hiding go seek and they teenagers and some of them have left school and he said well it's quite simple with hiding go seek nobody ever loses and you get to play the game over and over again. So it's one of the most secure games for people to play because nobody ever loses. And that was an amazing learning curve for me, which we've applied ever since. If you create safe environments for people, they just tend to come and stay and enjoy themselves, irrespective of what you're doing. You see, it wasn't the, the game. What the game was doing is facilitating a safe place. There were no losers, no one was judged. Uh, you get to play again and again and again, and there's no insecurities. So they were coming and hanging out, and what we did with that is we just carried on making sure that whatever we did, hiding go seek or not, we would create a safe place. And it was okay if you were found, you weren't a loser. And you wanted to go seek others. So yeah, yeah God says, I love those who love me. And those who seek me early and diligently shall find me. Now, it is possibly referring to wisdom, but it is the wisdom of God. And the Father says, if you come and look for me, you are going to find me. You just have to really, really diligently, don't give up, seek me. You will find me. I will be found by you if you seek me. Now, you know, when we're going to go look for someone or something, it's because we really, really want them. And we really want to find them. And, and people might say that, you know, I, I don't know if I want God to, to encounter me. You know, I don't know if he'll accept me. I don't know if he'll love me. And when I get there, isn't he going to rebuke me if I find him? And sometimes people just don't want to play the game because... It's just going to reveal stuff that they don't necessarily want to reveal. But you know, God already knows. And avoiding a subject doesn't mean the subject's not going to be addressed. God is at this moment in time with you listening to what I'm saying. He is addressing it. And he's saying it's okay. I am a safe place. I am a place that you can look for. And when you find me, you're going to be content. You're going to be relaxed. You, you're going to be You're going to be loved. You really, really are. 
So I want to encourage you today. Why don't you start looking for him? You might find him in somebody's eyes or somebody's heart or an act of a stranger. You might find him in the word. You might actually find him in a song. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you reveal yourself to us today. The Father, that as we diligently, from the beginning of the day, look for you in everything that we do, every moment that we're in, it might be just shopping, standing in a queue, but may we look for you. You might be in that person that is really needing a smile today, and Father, may we be in a place to give a smile. May we not be so focused on what we're trying to get up to, Father, but what you are trying to get up to. And Father, may we hear you as we seek you. Say to us, come and sit with me. Let me give you those plans that I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you hope in the future. Let me deal with those burdens that you're carrying. Father, we are encouraged today. I'm encouraged today. I thank you that this is a good day. And we will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you for your grace, your mercy, your forgiveness. Thank you for your understanding. Thank you, Father, that we can find you. In Jesus' name. Amen.